Ah, summer. The undeniable worst time of the year. With extreme heat, excessive sweating, violent sunlight. It's no wonder we all collectively hate summer. Huh? What's that? You actually like summer? <laughs> well, it's okay to be wrong. <laughs> Anyways, as you may have guessed, I'm not a fan of summer. But, as the absolute masochist that I am, I decided to bring the summer experience to Project Sunboy and crank it up to max, turning the world into a literal oven. We're standing outside, will quite literally boil you alive. So join me as we tackle the pyrogenic summer challenge. Ah, the good old piss filter. It always works to show that it's a very hot day outside. Anyways, welcome back everyone to Project Sunboy. More specifically, the Pyrogenic Challenge. Allow me to go inside real quick because we're getting very hot. And don't mind my shirt being broken. <laughs> I started recording this a little bit ago, but um, I forgot to turn on the audio. <laughs> that always happens. Anyways, uh, welcome to the Pyrogenic Summer. So, it's August. You know, it's the very end of summer, but it's still just as hot as any other month of summer. And Project Samba shows it perfectly, too. Outside, we have the nice piss filter. You know, the filter that many shows and movies use to show that it's very hot and a tropical area. Well, not tropical, a dry desert area. Basically, we're gonna have to survive in this brand new map, which I don't have fully unlocked, but you can see the scale. It's not that big, but we're gonna have to survive in this map with very, very high temperatures. I think it reaches around 55 degrees Celsius at like 4 p.m. Right now it's like 10 a.m., so it's not as hot. The water already ran out. Thankfully, the electricity hasn't run out, so we have AC inside the houses, which means the houses are relatively safe. But we still have to be very careful Mostly because if we stay outside too long, our core temperature, which we can check right here, is gonna go up. Right now, we're right around normal, so we're safe. We, we're actually a little bit on the cold side. But if we go outside, just real liquid split. As you can see, it slowly starts going up and up and up, going to yellow then to orange, and then, slowly but surely, it starts getting to that nice crimson heat. And that's not good, that's no bueno, because if that happens, we will die. And also, we're gonna need a lot of water. And since water has run out, we're gonna have to be very careful with how we use our water. And the objective of this challenge, as you can see, I already killed a couple of sets in here, and one of them had a satchel. You had it. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take that and equip it on the back. And I'm gonna take your underwear because it's very pretty. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look good, look good. I'm gonna need a new shirt. But okay, our objective for this challenge is gonna be... First of all, we're gonna explore the surrounding area. Maybe we can explore the entire map. But first, we're gonna have to survive and reach a certain level of self-sufficiency within this extreme environment. Basically, we need to find a way to survive. Ooh, pink, I like pink more. We just have to survive with this extreme heat. Also, we have a mod that makes it so that if we don't take care of our temperature, we can actually die from a heat stroke. So we need to jump from house to house, so we don't end up dying from heat. Okay, let's go to the next house, which should be right over here. Yeah, it's a little shed, but it should be fine. Ooh, hello. Oh, it's like a... Isn't it like an... Oh, it's a... Ah, oh, what's it called? 
a power power thingamajig. You you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, it's it's exactly that. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right, ma'am? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, she does. Okay, that is gonna be huge. The oh come on, there's a lot, ma'am. You're wearing a sweater in the hottest summer in history. What is wrong with you? Okay, I'm just gonna break this window, clear the glass, and go inside. Okay, there we go. Jesus, man. Oh, crayons, that's gonna be useful. Jesus, man, like, they just, they just keep coming and they don't stop coming. Uh, as I was saying, this water cooler is gonna be huge. It has a lot of water, so we're gonna be fine for a little bit. Let me just open the windows so we can actually move around. Okay, how's our temp? Okay, we properly cooled off. We're very thirsty. We were outside for a very, very small amount of time, and we're already incredibly thirsty. That's how dangerous the outside is. Yeah, no, I was hoping for a water bottle. Okay, is there anything in here? Maybe you have a watch. Do you have a watch? No, I want a digital watch. Because a digital watch will allow us to see the temperature that we are, that we have. Which helps a ton. Because right now we're just freeballing it. We're checking our model. And if we're hot, we're hot. If we're not, we're not. But having the exact temp would actually give us a little bit of an edge because we'll be able to see just how hot it is wherever we are and we'll be able to find safe places but for the time being it doesn't seem like we're gonna get a watch anytime soon let's go inside cool off a little bit there we go now let's go. I want to check these little storage containers right here. I saw that set. We have two. They're coming here. I just want to check this out. Are they going to be locked? Oh, one is open. Oh, nice. They got stuff. Okay, come here. Come here. There we go. Did any of you? Nice, digital watch. Let's go. Okay, awesome. As we can see, we are at 50 degrees Celsius. And yeah, it's um, pretty toasty. Pretty toasty. But we got some cool stuff. We got a screwdriver. We got a pipe wrench. We got a propane torch. Cordless drill. This is actually pretty good. Ball pin hammer. We have a regular hammer. We have a bicycle frame. Maybe we could make a bicycle with that. Raven's notes, we can make some bumps with this, let's take that. A gas can, which would actually be very useful. Another ball ping hammer, might as well take it. And the metal bar and a long metal bar. I'm gonna take the metal, long metal bar and equip it on our back. Okay, there we go. Let's check out, can we open this? No, we can't. Okay, we need a crowbar, which will probably be in here. Can we break this with the entrenching shovel? Let's give it a try. No, actually, we're gonna die if we do that. It's gonna be a lot of work. And we're gonna end up dying from a heat, so... Yeah, no. Oh, we actually got a cheese sandwich in here. Awesome. We're actually a little bit hungry. Yum! Eh. This is basically a grilled cheese sandwich because of the heat that we're on. But okay, yeah, we're pretty cool now. Do you have anything useful, ma'am? I like your stuff. I would like that. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. We're looking pretty good. Hopefully this keeps us very cool. And we got some thighs. The thighs are actually don't give any insulation. So we should be a-okay. We just gotta take off the tank top that we have below. Yeah, there we go. Uh, these ones don't give any insulation either, so we should be fine. Okay, let's give it a try. We'll see if it's dangerous if we start getting the sick 
Moodle, because that means we're starting to get a hit stroke. But okay, okay, pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that one marked in my head, because it has some industrial supplies that we could use. For the time being, let's just check out these surrounding houses. Hopefully we can find a two-story house where we can shack up. Oh, we got a couple of sets over there. Uh, let's let's try not to anger them for the time being. Let's just go down here. To house numero dos. Let's see, you got some lipstick. Oh, vitamins. Oh, we can actually disinfect rags with this. I don't know how realistic that is, disinfecting a rag, disinfecting a wound with cologne, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, we got some good stuff here. We got a meat cleaver, that's gonna be very useful. A can opener, a staple in a survivalist environment. Do you have some alcohol? Ooh, fanny pack. And some guns. Okay, 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 pretty cool. A sewing kit, that's huge. We actually have a needle now. Okay, so we have a needle. We got two hammers. We got some magazines and a gun. I don't think I'm gonna take that. Because we're not very good with guns right now. We got a pencil, eraser, metalworking, and electricity for beginners. Some dog food, modern shop. Yeah, that seems to be about it. No bottle, though. But that's fine. We got some solid food here. Actually, I'm gonna cook up something here. Let's make a roast. Okay, we have a shrimp, meat, and broccoli roast cooking right up. Okay, that's gonna keep us going for a while. And there we go, we got our food. Let's not eat it yet. I'm gonna wait on it. But okay, yeah, that seems to be about it. I'm gonna take the dog food, just in case. And I'm gonna drop these things. Okay. So we didn't get much. We did get a fanny pack, which is pretty good. I think I'm gonna wear it on the back. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. Okay. We got a fanny pack. Pretty huge. Let's check out house numero tres. Oh, this one has a second floor. Oh, that's huge. That might be our base for the time being. Let's check out what's behind house numero tres. Hello. There's a few sets over here. We're gonna have to take them down before. We're very thirsty. Okay, I didn't check on that. We really need to check our models and keep a very close eye on them. Okay, but I need to take these guys down before I... Oh, we're starting to get slow. Okay, we have to go inside. We're getting very slow. Please, please open the window. Please! I'm dying! Please! Okay, we're going back to the other house. Okay, whoa. Whoa, that jump from tier 2 to literally dying. Okay, okay. Go inside. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, drink, 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 drink. Please. Oh, oh. oh my god, that was so dangerous. We went for, from like tier 2 to tier 4 in an instant. It was instantaneous oh my god oh my god that was so dangerous oh my it, it really stacks up it really stacks up Woo! that was that was a good check a reality check we need to be a lot more careful okay uh we're already getting a little bit tired it's already 8 p.m that makes sense but okay let's just eat a little bit of this and i really want to check this house because this this house might be the one but I need to deal with these guys. Okay, we need to be careful. Okay, thank you for opening the window. Okay, please don't break that door. Please. And thank you. Okay. Any of you have anything useful? No. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. This, this is a good one. This is a good one. It has a second floor gonna be very useful okay any sets upstairs no okay as always the mod list is gonna be in the in the description down below okay anything good not really but we have a very good house two stories 
That one might be two stories too, but I don't think so. Okay, a two-story house that we can definitely defend. I think this is gonna be our base for the time being. Oh, we got some past answers too. We're gonna keep them in the fridge so they don't go bad. Food also goes bad very quickly because of the heat and because of the settings that we applied here. So we have to be very careful about that one too. Okay, uh, how can we secure this? Okay, we have um, this thing up here. Let's just take everything they have and put it on the ground. And we're gonna pick this up. And we're gonna take this wardrobe and we're gonna place it right over this. It should, in theory, stop sets from being able to get through windows. I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, because it blocks the window and actually sets can't go through this. If there's something blocking the entrance past the window, sets can't actually destroy the blockage because they can't hit it through the window. So if we can get multiple furniture items and block the windows, they would pretty much become... They would become impenetrable. So we should definitely do that. I'm gonna move the fridge now. Oh, hello! Huh! What mod is this from? This is so cool, what the hell? Yo! Yo, what mod is this from? I don't even know that. I, I think they updated one of the mods that I had. Huh. Look at- oh, look at that! That's so cool! That's so realistic, wow! And we can- if we attack, we actually drop- Yo! That's so cool! Oh, oh, never mind, it went away again. <laughs> okay. But okay, it, it was cool while it lasted. Okay, uh, we're gonna use this to block the window, and there we go! Now it should be... no, it's not. What the heck? I guess fridges don't work, unless... Yeah, I guess fridges don't work, huh? Oh, that's a bummer, that's a bummer. Okay, fridges don't work, but I can at least use it. I mean, let's just use it as a regular fridge. What else? Yeah, we're just gonna have to find more furniture. But okay, there we go. We got ourselves a nice little base that we can definitely sleep in. Okay, so I'm gonna go to sleep because it's already 11.30 p.m. And after that, we're gonna go outside and continue exploring the area. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I mean, it's only been like one second for you guys, so, you know, you didn't miss much, I will tell you that. But okay, we're back. Now, I'm gonna leave most of my books right in here, including the Raven's Notes. We're gonna read them later. For the time being, we need to find food. A lot of food. Mostly canned food. It's actually not that common. But we need that, so if we want to survive. I'm gonna go check out the rest of the houses for today. Okay, let's check out the surrounding area. Oh, there we go. We got some empty bottles which we can definitely use as water bottles. Awesome. We also got some chips, that's pretty good food. We got some ciggies, which we don't really need. Carpentry one, awesome. Auto engineering, also awesome. Okay, anyone inside? Hello? Doesn't seem like it, okay. Oh, there we go, we got a nice little visitor here. No one in here, I think one was banging here. Oh, hello, madam. Oh, I like your... I like your style. Hello. Oh. Okay, it's one of those situations where the set just decides not to fight anymore. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's that's fine. Oh, no, there we go. She woke up. Oh, hello! Whoa! <laughs> Jesus, man! 
What the hell? I pushed you! Ah, whatever, whatever. It's just, just, just a scratch. Just. Jesus! What the hell? I keep pushing you and you guys just don't listen. Okay, Jesus, uh, how much? Two scratches. Okay, I can deal with that. Okay, Jesus, come on. Okay, whoa. Those doors did not do anything for you guys, huh? I really don't want... Okay, 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 fine, 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 fine. We'll go here. Jesus, man. God, it all went wrong. Okay, please tell me the outfit wasn't hurt. Sleeveless jacket. It has a hole, but it has a lot of insulation, so yeah, no, it wouldn't work. Okay, so we got wounded for absolutely no reason. Okay, all right, that's awesome. <laughs> that's, uh, it's always good. Always good. 7% chance to die. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Uh, I'm gonna fill up my water bottles. Okay, we filled up two, almost three. Actually, I think we filled up three. And we just rank the rest. Okay, let's fill up the rest of the other one. Okay, we should definitely look for more cologne and stuff to disinfect our wounds because they're gonna it's gonna be a little bit dangerous if we don't take care of that. We have a mod, one of Braven's mods. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. We have um something here. The beret. Ah, let's go, let's go, okay. I like it, I like it. Looks good, looks good. Okay, we look very classy. Okay, do we have any kind of food? Canned beans, that's good. We also had a salmon here. Fresh cooked. Okay, awesome. It's gonna be our food for now. We have a saucepan, which will be very good. Actually, we can fill it with water and we can disinfect some rags with it. Okay, let's change our bandage for a rip sheet. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna disinfect some rags with this water. Okay, we got a bunch of disinfected rags, which should, in theory, prevent them from getting infected. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, awesome. Now we'll just keep everything in our bag. And we should eat a little bit. Let's eat half of this. Okay, there we go, there we go. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, second house, it has some pretty useful stuff. We can actually disinfect stuff now. I'm gonna take that saucepan. We already have a griddle pan on the other one. We're gonna take the chocolate chips. And that seems to be about it. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Had some solid loot. Let's go check out the next one. Okay, let's not get surprised this time. I'm gonna check out the surrounding area. Ah, there we go. And there you go. Okay, 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 okay. House numero cinco. Here we go. Some pencils, a Valutech porta disc, and a military issue watch. Uh, some cooking utensils and a can, sir, a can of sardines. Some fresh food, which we're gonna freeze right about now, so we can take them later. We have a book on how to make some clothing, and some books, which we're gonna take. We have a bandage that needs to be changed. We have some toothpaste and a bandage, an actual bandage. Pretty good. And we have a pencil and an eraser. Okay, pretty bad house. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but okay, we do have some food right there in the fridge. I'm gonna leave it frozen, so we can take it later. Okay, let's check out the next house. There was a zombie in here, wasn't there? I guess not. There are some over there, but I think we'll be fine. We have a grapple bag. We have a long lead pipe that is very useful. Uh, we have another screwdriver. We have a couple of metal bars, a couple of hammers, and anything else. We have a box of nails, a plank, and some mugs. Okay, not very useful, but it could be worse. Let's check out the actual house now. Uh, electronics magazine, lock picking. We have a kitchen knife. 
pretty good. We have a couple more saucepans, kitchen tongs, nothing super useful. We have salami. I'm gonna freeze these guys. Oh, we have a cooking pot with actual water. Okay, this one is huge because this one holds a lot more water. We're gonna take it for our base. And we have some soap, which will be very useful to wash ourselves. We have a TV, we have a shirt, a pillow. Oh, we have a baseball bat, which is in terrible condition. I don't think we're gonna take it. I don't think it's worth it. We have a belt, we have some stockings. Looks cool, looks cool, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that, that might actually be uh, pretty cool. We have some arm warmers, not very good for our situation. I would love to wear leather gloves because they're good protection. Forget that for a moment, I, I completely I completely miss the fact that we have a crowbar and a billhook machete, both in mint condition. Okay, all right. That's a lot better than what we had before. So yeah, um, that's that's pretty good. And we're also gonna take the battery. Okay, we're gonna drop this long metal bar. Okay, 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 that's huge. The crowbar's texture is completely bored, but still. A crowbar is a crowbar. Okay, let's replace the bandage for a sterilized one again. So far, so good. We didn't have much food, but that's fine. This one is huge. A machete. Ooh, looks good, looks good. Okay, let's take some water from here. And I'm actually gonna eat this lime. And we're gonna take the salami too. Okay, this house. Actually, let's start marking them. Okay, we checked quite a few houses already and we got some pretty good loot so yeah uh let's check out one more house before we finish the episode and take down a couple of sets on the way okay we got a nice little cord over here i think we can take them down before we succumb to our heat Hello, this house is huge! Yo! Ho, ho, ho. This might be our base, actually. Yeah, hold on a second. Now, hold on a hot diggity damn second. This might be... Yo, these houses are awesome! What the heck? Okay, let's check out this house in particular. But yeah, these houses are huge. There we go. Okay, these houses are huge. They're the rich houses. Okay. What do we got in here? We don't have any sets. We have a couple of sets outside. It seems that... Oh, there's a set right here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Hello, sir. How's it going? Bye-bye. I, I said bye-bye. I, I, I said bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Are we actually getting hot? I think, I think this is heatstroke. Okay, okay, I think this is actually heatstroke. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we have the queasy model. And our health is rapidly dropping, dropping. So I think we need to hurry. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. It's probably this. Let's take it off. Okay. Let's see if that helps. Okay. It's still going bad. Okay. All right. This is this is bad. This is really bad. What is going on? Okay. I took that off too. Is that enough? Uh, okay, 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 the moodle went away, okay, whoo, gosh, diggity darn, okay, all right, <laughs> so, I love this dress, but I don't think we can wear it, I really don't think we can wear it, because I think we were dying from wearing it, okay, let me wear it real quick, the insulation is very low, so I don't think there's no way it was that, right? Maybe we spent too much time outside and we needed to really... I don't know. Okay, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I think we probably spent too much time outside. Because as you could see, we were rapidly losing health. 
we went from here to here in like an hour. So yeah, I think we spent too much time outside fighting and running around. So yeah, <laughs> I think we're going to spend the rest of the day indoors where it's actually chill and cool. And yeah, we're going to have to limit the time we spend outside. I think it's a lot more dangerous than I expected. But okay, I think that'll do it for this episode. I'm gonna spend the rest of the... Okay, so we can't wear the dress. We're gonna have to be in our underwear for the time being. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day indoors, you know, sorting through the house, maybe getting some extra supplies, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new and you want to see more of this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.